What's going on guys? Welcome to another awesome video. Um, it's been a little while, um, about a month ago I went off to Los Angeles to the SolidWorks World Convention, which is awesome. I got to meet some awesome people. Uh, people like Devin from Make Anything, uh, he managed to come out. And the Jat Man, I uh, got to meet him, he was knocking about the CNC, me, see me CNC booth. And I got to meet the lovely people at Matter Hackers. And I sat and got chatting with the people at Matter Hackers and they were awesome enough to send me some material. Uh, some of their Matter Hackers Pro PLA and some of their Matter Hackers Nylon X carbon fiber material. <laughs> so I've been out of service for a couple of weeks now. I still am somewhere. Uh, while I was in Los Angeles, I managed to you know, badly injure my ankle and good times. Okay. So with this Pro PLA, I thought I'd come up with a couple of projects that I could have fun with them. Uh, and uh, let me get to the first project I, I, I got up to. Um, a little while ago I saw these rolling sticks that were made out of wood and were weighted on either side and you push it over and it clung, 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 rolls over pretty cool. So I thought I'd try and recreate this in 3D printing. Um, I've seen others do this, uh, but the way that they've done it is they've used their slices to actually you know, print like a high density, um, mainly simplify 3D, to print it a high density on either end in the middle, they print it a lower density. I wanted to create a version that you didn't need simplify 3d you can use any slice you just print at a single constant density so here we are in solidworks where i created the rolling stick um first of all i had to get some basic dimensions before i started creating that lovely curve that creates that gentle roll i did a simple revolve fill it to the edges and that was the body done i then went to the inside I just started creating a little cavity on the inside so that the material doesn't fill it up completely on the inside. Add a little chamfer so that it can print support free and that is it. It is done. You can see the little cavity there inside. Here we are in Kira. I just rotated it up, just checked it out at first, switched it to 100% and had a look at the layers. You can see a little cavity there in the middle that will print with nothing in it. So here's the final model, um, very simple shape, very easy to print, but I, I don't want to just leave it as boring. So I ended up making some other cool shapes, some shapes that actually had some holes in it, um, some shapes with some cool twists and a shape with some patterns on and they all work exactly the same. A final projects and my thoughts on Matter Hackers Pro PLA, that's good. Um, I haven't had any problems or anything, um, except for one, which I can't really call it a problem, is that the spools are wound really tight, so sometimes my machine struggles to feed it, um, and that causes some lines to skip or under extrude. Uh, to fix that, I just loosened up the spool. So I, I couldn't really call that a problem. Um, I don't know if that's with all spools, but the two PLA spools that I had had that little bit of a problem but ah, it's not the end of the world I just loosened up problem solved wham bam thank you man so all of these files can be downloaded from my mini factory um, so if you want to print them out try them out and see what you can come up with go for it if you guys like matter hackers material want to try it out there is a link down below it's an affiliate link to me so if you guys purchase any PLA through that link I get some kickback yay money so please check out matter hackers um, they don't just sell material, uh, they sell printers as well. They have their own cool slicing software called Matter Control. Yeah, Matter Control. So go check it out. I think they've got a special one at the moment. Yeah. Anyway, all links are down below. Uh, if you want to download these on my mini factory, they're there. If you want to go check out Matter Hackers, please go down and check down Matter Hackers. Um, if you like what you see here and you want to see some more really cool, interesting projects, leave a like, please comment, and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Uh, my next project has a little something to do with na 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 Batman. Yeah. 
also Mad Hackers Pro PLA. We'll see you one soon. Hope you enjoyed watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. Yeah, I could totally juggle. Juggle all my life. <laughs>